Now we're going to have a go at some oblique sketching. Okay, we're not going to use any instruments, I'm not going to use a ruler or anything. We're just going to use a pencil to begin with, and then we're going to use a fine liner just to go over the drawings. And we're also going to use a 45 degree set square just to help us to get that that 45 degree angle on these drawings. So this is we're going to do something like this. We're going to do a few objects, and then maybe we're going to add some details to them and maybe make them look like products, but they don't have to be, they could just be blocks. It's just a practice, that's that's fine. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, you don't you don't need to do this on a drawing board, it's fine, you can do this it's freehand. Uh, we're not going to use any instruments. But we are what we are going to do is we're going to draw ourselves with the set square some guidelines. Now I'm just going to put the set square I'm just going to rest it against the bottom of the page and very lightly with my pencil I'm just going to draw a line through the page like that. You can just about see that on the video there, very lightly. And what I'm going to do is draw a few of those and space them apart. We're not going to measure this. I'm just going to draw a few of them. Across the page like this maybe one further over, you can push the set square slightly off the page as long as the set square lines up with the bottom of the page, as long as there's enough of the set square for us to do that and basically all you end up with is just a number of stripes, I suppose you call them, across the page and instead of, we're not going to use grid paper because we, we want to we want to sketch these ideas, we're not going to, we're not going to rely on a grid uh, but these lines will help us get an idea of, of what that 45 degree line looks like and the direction it runs. Okay, first of all, uh, we're going to just draw some um, some blocks, some basic blocks. We're going to start down in the corner down here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to draw a crate with a pencil. So we're using pencil because we're actually going to be overlapping shapes as you can see and be overlapping shapes and putting shapes on the front of shapes if we use a pen we're going to have pen lines everywhere that we don't that we don't want so we're going to use a pencil for this task so I draw a quick quick crate and then I'm just going to project out those 45 degree lines and I'm going to use the nearest the nearest line that I've just drew with the set code to help me notice how it's very loose and there we have uh, a block. I overlap my lines at the ends because it's just a quick, it's just a sketch. I'm not going to try and be exact at first. Let's, so let's have a go at drawing another one. Just draw a long, a long, thin one. Again, you should have a bit more flexibility than me. So you can move the page around on your table, for whatever feels comfortable. But I'm, I'm stuck to the board, I'm not going to move the page around. Uh, let's have another go. We'll do another one. Do quite a tall, a tall block this time. Again, just use the nearest line. You might be fortunate enough to draw, do your drawing on the line. And there we go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is some some prisms. Um, so we're going to draw a crate for the prism. It's going to be a triangular prism, so I'm going to use a, draw a triangle. So I'm going to draw a crate, put a mark halfway across the top of that, and then just draw a line down. Now I'm pressing on fairly lightly with my pencil, not too hard because we're going to eventually you'll rub the pencil lines out. Then I'm going to draw my 45 degree lines out, and then this line here on the back needs to be parallel with this one. So you see what I just did there? I just run my pencil over that. There we go. Another one. So I usually start with the bottom line of the crate and draw two lines up. But there's no particular order, really, whatever feels comfortable to you. There we go. And again, the 45 degree line comes out. Uh, you can try some smaller ones if you want to, it's completely up to you. We just try a smaller one there. 
obviously smaller objects are a little bit easier to draw because you haven't got the lines that you draw aren't as long there we go, it's getting a bit crowded over there so I'm just going to move down here next shape we're going to try, so we've tried some blocks, just rectangular blocks, we've tried some prisms the next one we're going to try is a cylinder again I'm going to draw myself a crate this time the crate I'm going to draw is going to be square so I'm just going to keep a note of the length there and try and make the length of this line, the length of this line and this line and this line all the same there's my crate so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw my circle so I'm going to use these lines to help me draw the circle as we have when we did the drawing exercises or when, if you've done the drawing exercises task the very beginning of the course ok now I'm going to project out my 45 degree lines from the circumference of the circle like this And I'm going to do this a little bit differently, a little bit differently from how you would do this if you're drawing instruments. I'm just going to basically copy this curve. I'm going to sketch in that curve. And because we're doing it with pencil, we can we can afford to make some mistakes and just sketch, try and get that shape. Right, there we go. You can obviously if you're not happy with it, you can rub it out. But try not to try not to use the eraser too much. Look at that. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to make it fairly shallow. I'm not going to put much depth on it. So if I'm gonna make it look like a, a coin, that also makes it easier to to trace that curve. That's not looking too bad. Okay, next thing I'm going to have a go at uh, is slightly more difficult. I'm going to have a go at an oval, an ellipse. So I'm going to draw myself a nice long thin rectangle and then I'm going to draw in an ellipse. Okay, I'm going to have a look at that and make sure that I'm happy with that. It's fine. They're just sketches. So it's just to get an idea of what the on object looks like. So there you can see I've, what I've done exactly the same as I did with the circle. Project the lines out and then try and trace that shape there. That's fine. That's okay. And put another, another, another block over here. So basically just have a practice of drawing some shapes, different shapes, blocks, prisms and cylinders on the page. Different sizes, different depths, ok now I'm going to have a go at the cylinder uh, this time it's going to be the other way around, we're going to have a, have a vertical cylinder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a crate and the crate is uh, it's like, kind of like a squashed square and in, in that square or squashed square I'm going to draw across there I'm going to mark up centres and then what I'm going to do is draw myself an ellipse, and this time I'm projecting lines up vertically. I'm going to draw an ellipse, the same as the ellipse on the bottom, and that makes this kind of vertical cylinder. Uh, let's have another go at that. And let's just finish with a, another block.